Welcome back. Every sports team has their biggest fans. They're the ones who cheer the loudest, they root the hardest, and they even argue the most when things don't go their way. Mary Margaret Ellison tells us how one group of ladies at Northwestern State have been crowned queens of the court. If you've ever been to a Northwestern State Lady Demons game, you've probably noticed three ladies decked out in Demons gear with palms in hand. You could call them anonyms and the players super fans, but it's what they have done beyond the court and the impact they have made on the Lady Demons is what the NSU community admires. From the time that I arrived here to NSU, we've had three ladies that have absolutely been uh, the strength, the heart, consistent um, support. After retiring, Nan and Camille Hawthorne moved back to their hometown, Natchitoches. And when Lady Demons head coach Anna Nims was hired, they and their longtime friend, Darlene Elliott, decided they were going to support the Lady Demons as they now sit courtside. To know Anna is to love Anna, and uh, she... Uh, she just has that infectious personality. These kids are a great group of women, and just like anyone else, they like people to cheer for them. After attending every home game and most away games for two seasons, the three ladies now refer to themselves as Anna's Army. It's one of the things, we have it on our calendar. This is where we're going to be, and we have to do away games. This is what we're going to do. We have about a six-hour drive radius, uh, but if it's over, then uh, we've been fortunate that the the two games have fallen where we can stay over and do a little sightseeing. Home and away, Anna's Army never steps into the arena without their flag, which has become a staple for ESPN broadcasts and the Lady Demons huddle. I had one last year is I want the girls to know when we walk into the gym, they see the flag, they know we're there. You know, that's sort of our stamp. Okay, we're here now. They don't travel on the bus with us, but they're every bit a part of the program. Um, you know, plenty of times the girls have asked, well, what, are they here yet? They're not here yet. And it's like, don't worry, I've already messaged them, make sure they're okay. Too many they are fans, or Anna's army, but to the players, they are much more, as most of the NSU roster is not from Louisiana. I don't, I don't know what to call it, but you know, grandmas have that loving, nurturing, that, that just, they have the aspect to them and they care for you. It's like glue, you know, like sometimes when they're not there, it's like, where are the, where are the grandmas at, you know? So just them being there and being support, like when they're not, when one of them, even one of them's not there, it's like, where is the other one, you know? Cause it's just not the same. This is my first year. So I saw them first time we was at practice. It was in summer and I was like, who are they? <laughs> Cause like they were, they were just here and they were like, oh, they're grandma. Yeah, being away from your family, you know, it's hard and but they, they make it easier for me because they're like my family. And no matter the outcome of the game, Coach Nims and the Lady Demons say just the grandma's presence on the court or in the stands is what makes playing basketball even sweeter. They they always have this big smile on their face, like you win and lose. It just it just gives you a lot of like power, like okay. We got a next game or like you good you know i just i oh don't know i love them at the end of the day the foundation those three women will forever be the foundation of uh my tenure here even though the lady demon season came to a close yesterday anna's army will be right back here tonight to support the men reporting on the demons mary margaret ellison news channel 5 your local station